Hi, I'm James Schilling. Well, I'm still in Manchester and I'm here at Co-op Live. Now, what is Co-op Live? Well, it isn't right now, but it is going to be one of the greatest menu music venues, really maybe in Europe and the world. And I'm here with Ben Tipple, who is the communications head of communications for Co-op Live. We're going to talk to Ben about what exactly this project is, and you're going to find out about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Ben, first of all, great to see you. Uh, you've given me a great uh, sort of preview of what this is all going to be. Yep. I actually was at Man City, the, uh, the stadium, Etihad Stadium, and I saw this thing over there, and I was like, what the heck is that? And here we are, and we're actually in the, what you would call the visitor center, if you will. And tell us, what is Co-op Live? So we are a 23,500 capacity live music venue uh, set to be the biggest uh, indoor music entertainment venue in the UK, uh, and we will be opening our doors in, in a year. And so this is going to be really uh, uh, the most intimate, one of the most intimate uh, concert venues in Europe, if not the world. And it, it was designed by the artists. Uh, it, it really is a place that is going to be very specific to seeing live music. Now, uh, roughly, when do you hope to have uh, some idea of who's going to be here at the end of the year into, into 2024? So we're still at the moment uh, kind of finalizing our calendar for our opening season. So um, as soon as the, the venue is ready to go, uh, we'll be able, and as soon as we've got the go ahead from artists and their promoters, then we'll be able to start announcing some of the, the most exciting kind of music, sport, comedy uh, that, that the UK has seen. So really looking forward to it. And so if you've got your clients come over here to Manchester, even if they, it, it is a destination concert venue, so you can book them to Manchester and then have them go here and see whatever you know, kind of venue, whatever artist they want to see. Now, this is also a very very sustainable project, uh, as, as you were telling me earlier. Talk a little bit about the sustainability and how you're kind of working with also the local community to uh, provide food and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, so sustainability is really at the heart of what we do um, in terms of our venue. We want to we want to be planet friendly. We want to be planet first. Um, we have got solar panels on the roof. We are a fully electric or renewable resource. Uh, we are collecting rainwater to flush our toilets. We have a biodiversity ring around the venue as well, and uh, it's all temperature controlled within the venue, so we use as little energy as possible. Um, we are committed to uh, Manchester City Council's pledge to be carbon uh, net zero by 2038 as well. Uh, so we really want to make sure that the venue is giving back to the planet and, and kind of becomes part of the space. And then in terms of community, we're working with um, a lot of the, the, the local people uh, to make sure that the, the venue is doing what we want it to do for, for the local community. Wait. Now, the other thing is that this place is going to be much more than just a concert venue. It's going to be, you have various parts of it that you'll have sort of clubs, uh, specific areas where you can go talk a little bit about those kind of special areas that people can go before a concert and after a concert. Yeah, so we we're, we're want to be a destination. So rather than just turning up for the show, watching the, the, your favorite artist and then leaving, we want to make sure that there's more of experience for, for everyone who's walking through our doors. Uh, so we've got 32 bars, restaurants and lounges. Uh, we've got everything from um, a backstage club uh, which is uh, you know a 700 capacity standalone venue that people can use before or after um, and that we might put kind of individual shows on when when there's nothing kind of in the actual bowl itself uh, we've got some luxurious spaces where people can really have kind of top end food we've got some uh, kind of cooler hangout spaces that have so if you have our artists uh, we have artists here who want to have a special party after the after the gig right oh well, i mean we love a special party i'm sure i'm sure there's always somewhere for that to happen yes, so that's definitely. where you're going to be right that's where i will yeah <laughs> obviously all the time so that's it's very interesting because i've seen the spaces and we're showing some on video now but it's it's really very a different kind of concert venue because it is a dedicated concert venue it's not it's not a, a, a sports arena. Now, there is a sports arena right down the block, really, which is the Etihad Stadium, and I'm sure there are going to be acts there, too. But this one is going to be for a little more intimacy and also really, f the, we talked about the acoustics, too. Yep. The acoustics are going to be amazing, right? Yeah, so it's the, it's the first kind of venue built built in this way we are we are music first although there will be comedy and, and sport and family entertainment there as well um, and it is uh, it's been built with acoustics in mind that the, the acoustic treatment in there is, is spot on to make sure that every fan and the artist are having the best experience that they can and it's not a repurposed venue you know it is it's built from scratch with with live music and live entertainment in mind yeah and the other thing we, we, we're talking about sustainability we see some car parks around but you really don't want people coming out here by car you're going to be having ways to get from Manchester 
Manchester uh, here pretty easily, right? Yeah, so we're working really closely with Manchester City Council, Transport for Greater Manchester, just to make sure that there's a seamless way to get to the venue and get out of the venue. Um, and, you know, that we're working, redeveloping the walking route on the way to site as well. So we're doing all we can to make sure that it's a pleasurable experience getting to and from the venue, uh, you know, which is, you know, 15 and 20, 15 to 20 minute walk out of the city centre, which, no, is, which is great. I'd much rather walk to it and it is pretty, pretty easy to walk to. Now, uh, who's behind this? Who's, who are the, 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 the investors in it and, and uh, where do they come from? Yep. So we're a joint venture between Oakview Group, uh, LA based uh, entertainment company and City Football Group, who, you know, obviously on that, very important on the Etihad campus. Um, and then we have um, private investment from Harry Styles as well. And I, hopefully he'll be one of the entertainers at some point. We'll see what happens. But he, he's, you can see him. In fact, some of the, if you saw some of the video, the, it looks like a Harry Styles character uh, in there. So that's the kind of uh, act you'll see here. But you can have everything here. I mean, not, not just r rock and pop, but, but a lot of different venues, a lot of different music styles, right? Yeah, we're, we, are, we are a venue for everyone. Um, so we are, you know, in terms of programming, in terms of access, in terms of accessibility, we really are uh, making sure that we, we are the, the go-to place for everyone. Every, for every live entertainment fan. Now, we go out to about 110,000 travel advisors. They're booking their, their uh, clients into Manchester. Maybe they got clients who want to see a special musical performance. They book stuff into Vegas, things like that. What would you tell them about this venue and also how to start working with you when you, you really start opening? I mean, again, they're, they're really isn't a venue like ours in in the uk we really are focused on that that experience and that that music experience and you know manchester is such a vibrant city in itself anyway and you know the musical heritage here is is incredible so i think just being a part of that and kind of helping to build on that is is really important to us and i think any global kind of fan of of music will will know something about what's come out of manchester over the last kind of you know 58 years and i think you know and if that is their passion and if that is what they're interested in this is definitely somewhere that they should come and, uh, you mentioned it because a lot of people think oh liverpool beatles and all that but actually manchester has a strong history of music there's a wonderful the the northern quarter here has all these incredible clubs you can go to if you're into that uh, popular music like that uh and now you're gonna have this huge venue that uh, not so huge it's a more intimate venue that uh will be showcasing those acts and and really giving your clients the best opportunity to see them now where can uh, my re my viewers go to find out more about this project uh, so our website is the best place or our social media channels so cooplive.com um, has all of the information about everything that we're doing and then you know as we start announcing our, our artists and start announcing our content that will all be filled up on there as well so people will be first to know um, and you can always register as well to our database to find out more and, and be the first to know once we start announcing those artists absolutely well ben thank you for taking the time thank you for this quick little tour about uh, what this venue is going to be and I, I look forward to i'm going to have to check out when you start the, the concert venue and all the, the schedule i'm going to see who's on the list and uh, come come over and see a bit. Absolutely, you will always be welcome. So just let me know and your, your name's on the list. Thank you so much. <laughs> Again, I'm here in Manchester at Co-op Live, a great new music venue that you can book your clients in wonderful Manchester and they'll be able to see a lot of the great acts they want to see. I'm James Schillinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report.